Oh, he just almost got me. What kind of dress? Oh, I think you know what kind of dress, Jeremy. I'll just hang out right here in the road on this random couch. Until someone yells at you. Well, I'll probably get kicked out of the country. You found a wedding dress? Surprisingly, yes. Look, she, she, you found that, one? That's the interesting way of them saying she said yes to the dress. Okay. Bags are all packed. George, all ready to go. I see you got your fanny pack there, all set. Got your hoodie. Storage unit find. Storage unit find, okay. Next on the adventure is? We're going back to Luxor Airport and, and flying then... back what? to huh? who knows where next. What are you gonna miss most about this hotel? Oh, the list goes on, it's endless. Um, I'm gonna miss a lot. Like what? You still have an answer. The view, the yeah. view is amazing. The view across the, the Nile. The Nile River, yeah. the mountains, the hot air balloons in the morning, the sailboats, well, they're called Felucia's here. Easy for you to say Felucia. <laughs> Bye, Felucia. <laughs> Our taxi. Our taxi comes in uh, we have about an hour, hour to and kill 20 minutes. Before shower or yeah. They call it limousine services, yeah, limousine even though it's services. just a shuttle. So, so we're going to hang out, get gonna, some vitamin D. We're going to limousine right under the and, uh, hammock. And nap in a hammock right by the Nile. <sighs> I got to admit, I am going to miss that view. And Did you know that? <sighs> You can't go anywhere. You're not allowed, do not pass that area without me. I can't even swim. Are you in denial that we're leaving Luxor? It's a sad day. Yeah, it's, I think uh, so. It's 10 degrees warmer here in Luxor, Egypt than it is where we're going next. I gotta admit though, I like I like hoodie weather, so we'll be good with hoodie mm -hmm. weather, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, it'll be comfortable. Yeah, that'll be, be for be sure. Shuttle is coming from over there somewhere, some way. We have a personal driver that's gonna take us to the airport. What's Uncle Sam say? Don't leave this place without following us, all right? Yes. There we go, Uncle Sam. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a film, yes. yes, that's Uncle yes. Sam from America. Yes, America, yes. Yep. For uh, the name was... Uh, understand this. I see it. I see it. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Yes. In, yes. in America. In America. Yes. yes. The, the, the same. Yes. You are from America. Yes. What's going on, babe? Well, I got pinned for security yet again. I had to take everything out and I have to repack everything. We went through four security. Four checkpoints already by car. Four, four security points, I think, right now. Yep. So. I'm sure there's probably 10 more, and that's just to stay in Egypt. That's not even a leave. That's just to fly US. domestically just here in Egypt. To fly domestically. <sighs> the price I pay to have brown skin. Another bus ride. Another shuttle ride okay. to the main airport. Because this, this place is so small, they it's have to shuttle small. you. You would think they would shuttle you because it's so big. Egypt Air. We there we go, here we go. We're gonna find out what first class is like for the first time ever. We're in seat 10J and 10H. I hope we're by what each other. What a coincidence, J and H? It's actually K, J and K. Oh, Are we I'm going to go see JK again? Either. I can't believe this. Are you in disbelief? I cannot believe, I've never ever, the seats usually come right here. Right here, look at this. There's so much room for activities, huh? This is... We are never, ever flying coach again. It, you know what? We're probably going to fly coach all the time. <laughs> but I like this little mistake that happened. I'm in complete and total disbelief. This is the first time ever, ever, that the seat isn't in my knees. It is probably easily two and a half feet away. Baby, you done good. You done real good. What's the remote for? The remote? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. We don't have to actually wear masks here in Egypt. She keeps doing it because everybody smokes and she can't stand the smoking smell. So wait till you see where the tray comes out. Okay. Never I've never been in first class before. They call it business class here. Wow. I can chop up my vegetables. Yeah, you can. And my apples and my banana. Or take a nap on it. I wonder how far back the seats go for sleeping. Let's test it out. There's no one behind you, so you can recline back as far. Oh, oh. this person just reclined. Wow. Does it go back further? 
That's just as much for look. You well, what about this? the foot thing? I think this is what it's for. You know. A little something like that. What do you think? Oh, the remote's for the TV. We're watching TV on this flight, too. <laughs> Here you can see the extreme desert conditions of the vast majority of Egypt. Gotta get our baggage, but uh, and souvenirs. You thinking about? I haven't gotten souvenirs that's true. Yet. You haven't. You know what? Can I, I fit this in my luggage? Um, let's see. Probably, Probably not. not. <laughs> but I have my eye on something else you might like. Okay, show me. Uh his. I see. And hers. I love it. You think we can get them back? Our golden thrones. Yeah. You always wanted two thrones in our bathroom. If we take these back, we'll have two golden thrones in the bathroom. And uh, I don't know. That's not very welcoming. This hunter warrior as well. So just in case anything tries to attack us in the bathroom. Whoa, George jumped on it. Our luggage was the first luggage out. I'm sorry. Now everybody's looking at me. Why is he recording her instead of helping her? That's her taxi driver. Look at this. The sunset too. We've seen some of the most incredible sunsets it's here. Babe, just be careful because there's cars behind you, like this guy. I'm ready to kick the cars in. Okay, so like we were saying, most incredible sunsets, right? Passengers don't have the right of way. Yeah, no right of way whatsoever. <laughs> you look nice in the Egypt night sky. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So do you. Well, I don't know where you <laughs> took me, but somehow, some way, we're here, huh? We're in Second New Cairo. This is Second New Cairo. Second New Cairo. There are There's to two develop. New Cairo's. Mm -hmm. Is that Aunt Camellia? <laughs> I have a feeling that is, isn't it? We're gonna hang out with my family for a couple of days. You love these elevators, don't you? Another in tight squeeze uh -huh. elevator. There's a whole nother level up here where my head is. What did you just Look find? Look at this fancy contraption. Yep. They don't have those in America. Nope, nope. You know what your aunt told me? It's like a makeshift picture. Your aunt told me that Egypt only, right? Yeah, Made only specifically. Egyptian. Only <laughs> Egyptians, <laughs> right there. The yep. So you pretty much... You snap you it, off. it off. Yep. And I've, and I've got a cup right here. You just pour And it. then you actually can pour your bottled water. What do you Voila. think? I love it. Let's take that idea to America. Let's do it. Storage unit fine. What you looking at here at your aunt's apartment? Well, apparently here in Egypt, in yeah. this part of Egypt, uh -huh. they have a Walmart. Uh, they have a store that's similar to our Walmart. Yeah. And it's called Carrefour. Mm -hmm. And they do sell appliances. I see okay. there's a bunch of washing machines. Uh -huh. But guess what? There's no page for no dryers. dryers. And I'm hanging your underwear out there. Baby, don't. You don't get embarrassed. All of Egypt you knows now, and now you just showed the world. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. That's how me. we're drying our clothes out there. You're embarrassing me. You don't embarrass easily. You're embarrassing me. Do you hear that, George? When do we not hear it? <laughs> that there's a, he's got a lot to say today. Here. It, it is the weekend. If anybody's ever wondered what it's like to be in an Islamic country, um, there's a lot to be said a lot of the time. And that was probably, he just probably went for a good 30 minutes, don't oh, you yeah. think? He was preaching, chanting, yeah. there was no horns honking. That's kind of nice, because, wait. But there wait. was definitely. <sighs> Hold a second. Overhead chanting. Thought he had something else he wanted to share with us. He does. 2,000 years later. I thought it finally stopped. Wait. Uh, yeah. uh, it was like an encore. Oh, oh my goodness. They must have rushed the stage for an encore. <laughs> Where do you think everybody named Karen hangs out in Egypt? It must be here. Look to your Where? right. Oh. 
<laughs> every morning getting what their coffee. What are the odds of a Karen coffee being here in Egypt? We're here at the market at the restaurants. Apparently, it's mating season for okay. cats. Good thing we're not in Asia or these things would be a meal. Look at this. Just right in the middle of everywhere. And then there's Aunt Camellia over there. Now, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's gonna attack. It's gonna attack. Not gonna believe this. Abuna just went and ordered all of our lunch all here this at the food. table. This is, he got French fries, but then in Egypt, there's a French fry sandwich. And he's, he, they've learned me so well here. Look at that. Oh, look, another cat, he wants to join us. He heard about the French fry sandwich too. <laughs> Let's eat up. Are you gonna try some of that? Um, uh -uh. Not even with ketchup? Uh -uh. Abuna, tell him to try it with ketchup. Look at you. Try Aunt it. Aunt Camellia's feeding the kitty cat. <laughs> Doesn't eat bread. He won uh, shawarma. <laughs> he <laughs> won chicken. He, no, no, I know exactly what the kitty wants. I got it right here. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want a french fry sandwich. Somebody wants to hang out with George. With Look Hi, at buddy. that. <laughs> Remember, your people your people love the kitty They're cat. They're everywhere. It's time to try this french fry sandwich. Look at this. Yeah. Look inside. There's actually french fries and a little ketchup. bit of ketchup. Definitely not enough ketchup though, right? <laughs> not for you it isn't. Put some ketchup here. Kitty cat's getting a little bit closer and... You want to try it? I'll tell you what I think. Tell you what I think. Blink I once that. if you want to try it. Okay, all right, here we go. This is the Egyptian bread, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, here we go. Mm. Survey we're, says. We're gonna need some more ketchup. <laughs> per the use, George stole my french fries. I wanna try some. You said you didn't want any french fries and here you are now eating a french fry sandwich. What do you think? This is something they need in the United States. Double carbs. And I know somebody who could bring it to the United States. <laughs> Aunt Camellia George. That's good. You like that? That's really good. Aunt Camellia George promises me if I try a little bit of everything here that I'll actually become Egyptian. Because it'll be flowing in your blood. I've never eaten stream. anything green before. It's always red, like ketchup. Let me see. You think I can even It's do arugula. This? Just eat it. It's uh, very what is nutritional. It? What is it? Arugula. And then you dance like Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> you eat the arugula and you what? Dance like Egyptian. Right, right now, I dance like Steve Urkel. I have... I, just pretend like you enjoy it. Oh, There's no, a that lot is of so bitter. <laughs> that is so bitter. Oh, it's like eating grass. <laughs> it needs ketchup or something. What are you doing in Egypt now? We're gonna go browsing for some dresses. What? What kind of dress? Oh, I think you know what kind of dress, Jeremy. That's quite the selection. There's just stories upon stories upon stories of dresses. It's so kind of overwhelming. I don't even know where to start. What the business owners do is they rent out apartment buildings and then... And then they flip those apartment buildings into storefronts, which is actually brilliant. Which is exactly what you're seeing right here. But you don't even know where to go in, do you? I have no idea. I'm just following my aunt's lead right now. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not go into all of those honking noises, okay? Okay. George would look amazing in that dress. Um, I think she actually found an entrance. Did you find an entrance? You're not allowed to see the dress that I try on. So I have to stay out here with the locals? With the cat. I don't, with the stray cat. I don't speak their language. But you speak stray cat. It'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> That's an interesting look there. This reminds me of Star Wars, like yeah. Prince Leia. You... You could be my princess, Nefertiti. <laughs> Look at that. George, that one right there. That one. That one is wider than you are tall. Do the brides out here wear this color? Oh, this is an engagement. Oh, engagement dress? Uh, I got the wrong, wrong color. Look at the shoes even bedazzled. What, what do you think? I was definitely thinking that I would yeah. want to wear comfort. Comfortable shoes. you don't even shoes. see the shoes. Like your dress covers You're going to go shoes. barefoot? No, I would do something you like that. Look at that. They're all bedazzled. 
some of the biggest, boldest, hugest wedding dresses ever. Baby, yeah. go big. Go big. Go big. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Wow. I got kicked out of the wedding dress store with George and her and her aunt. But standing out here, here's Abuna right there. He's taking care of me. Check out this old Land Rover here in Egypt. Never thought in a million years you'd see anything this cool. And yet here it is. Right here in Egypt. Check that out, old Land Rover. Get to step over there. This thing, this thing is beyond cool. All right, cops are coming for me. Must have called somebody and said I was in the wedding dress shop. She's coming out of the dress shop right now. What were those ladies screaming when I got kicked out? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. And Camelia, what were the ladies screaming when I got kicked out? First, first, I don't know my <laughs> she's speaking Arabic. I don't know what she's saying. So one of the bride was trying the dress on. Uh oh. And the mom was scared that you see her when she come out. Uh oh. That would be bad luck. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything at all, did I? She just wanted some privacy. It was the dress? You were in the dressing area. Okay. All right. She doesn't know. She doesn't know about bathroom rules, right? No. How about uh, you go into that dress shop, which has layer after layer after layer of dresses, and I'll just hang out right here in the road on this random couch. Until someone yells at you. Well, I'll probably get kicked out of the country, <laughs> one one way or another. Up from the balcony. Probably. <laughs> it is a nice day to take a nap here in Cairo. Right here on the streets. Do you think on this is a storage unit find? On the playground is where I spend most of my days. I don't know where George has been. Abuna and I are out here. We've been hanging out. Abuna's making a call now trying to find her. And Aunt Camelia. I don't know, maybe she found the dress. Maybe, hopefully. You, you found a wedding dress? Surprisingly, yes. Look, she's... <laughs> You found that, one? That's the different way of them saying she said yes to the dress. Okay, yes to the dress. You found one. I did. We're they taking have to it do home. Alterations and okay. then we have to pick it up tomorrow. Are you so, serious? Since we're going to be here tomorrow to check out the bazaar, yeah. do the COVID testing. We'll then you're going to pick up the dress. Am I allowed to see it? No. Aunt Camelia, let me see. Let me. You were just showing me. Let me it. see. Oh, you had a picture of her in it. Oh my just goodness. Teasing. Just a tease. You got a teaser. All you Egyptians are all teases, aren't you? We're crossing the road. What? What are we doing? What are we doing? He said don't run. He said don't run. Said, just, don't run just there's walk. a gap. There's a gap. There's a gap. But he said, walk we don't fast. Run in fast Egypt. pace. Fast we pace. We don't oh, run. he just almost got me. He almost got me. Did you see that? <laughs> Clip me. You found your wedding dress for our wedding. I did. Surprisingly, so I did. I did not think that I would because girls out here like to go big, sparkly, fancy. Yeah. And like really extra poofy princess like. And we want simple, easy. We just want easy. simple, elegant, classy. So where does an American Egyptian go after she finds her wedding dress? Well, we're going to explore the Egyptian version of a Walmart. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. We go to Walmart we in Egypt. We didn't think that they existed out here. What's it called? Carrefour. Excuse me, what? Carrefour. Ex excuse me, what? Carrefour. Did you just say parkour? <laughs> parkour, hardcore. And away we I'm in disbelief. Go. I'm feeling a little crazy. I'm thinking I might just switch things up with a different kind of hoodie. <laughs> Although it says Is one. Is this heated? No, it's not. It says one size fits oh. all. And we already know the one size in Egypt is way too small. What are you thinking? Large. Do they have extra large? Uh, oh, I don't think so. Right here. Wait. Uh, you know what? You Why do you what? need those? Because they told me the bazaar was so good here in Egypt that people come from all over the world to go to the bazaar that I'm yeah. going to crap my pants. So. <laughs> Just throw them in. Good idea. We're looking for a dryer. 
Lots of washing machines. No dryers. No dryer. No dryers. Nowhere. You can't find a single dryer in Egypt. I can't believe it. The only, the only can of regular Pringles I believe in the entire country and I just found it sitting solo right here. George is gonna be so happy. A hair? Yeah, like a hair, like cat the hair. Cream in the middle. Uh-huh. Then they put it on charcoal. And Actually, they cook it. It's it's a it's a sweet dessert, but they cook it on the charcoal, like barbecue. So this is a famous Egyptian dessert. Actually it's Syrian. It's Korean? Syrian. Syrian. Oh Syrian. Syrian. Okay. So it's not Egyptian. That's okay. You're still a sweet Egyptian dessert. <laughs> we have KFC back in the United States. Kalto. Yeah. Kentucky Kips. Kentucky <laughs> Fried. What's... Do you think Egyptian KFC serves pigeon? No. Yes. I don't think so. No. I... That's the type of bird no. they eat here. I think it's pigeon. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Pigeon. There's a places for that, but not Kips. No. Uh, Kips is Kips. I don't know. It's debatable. What did they just do in that grocery store? We were just in a giant well, grocery store. Germany, yeah. Where we ordered food, uh -huh. they don't serve ketchup because okay. it's not part of okay. the menu. And so we stopped at this market. Okay. It's like a little convenience store and mm -hmm. purchased a bottle of ketchup just for you. How big's the bottle? It's like travel size. Enough to last one meal. <laughs> it may not Maybe be enough. Two. We'll see. <laughs> two. What is it? What is also, it? What is this called again? Kharshusha? Hawaushi. 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 This is Hawaushi. Another traditional Egyptian dish. No, Hawaushi is what I said when I met you. <laughs> Hawaushi. <laughs> I said how, and then I said wow, and then I said she. She friend. Okay. I need ketchup for it, right? Well, that's what my aunt is recommending, right, yes, Coco? Yes, yes. I should say definitely... he might like ketchup on it. Because <laughs> it tastes like hamburger. It's, it's ground beef inside of Egyptian bread, right? Yeah. Should I try it without Pita ketchup? Pita bread. Should I try one bite without I it? I give yeah. you $100 to try no. A hundred Egyptian pounds wow. or a hundred American no US? <laughs> no What's this? way. Oh. That's the gut. That's the. Those that's are chitlins. Uh, cow intestines. That's chitlins. Okay. All right. I got enough ketchup coming out. All right. Here we go. I'm not even sure I want to try that. Here I go. Nope. You ready? Yeah. This is meat and pita bread. Yes. Smells spicy. Don't forget that french fries. You know what? You know what it needs? <laughs> french fries. Needs, needs french fry. <laughs> this is how unusual Egypt is. You hear that? That's thunder. It almost never ever rains here in Egypt. Not only has it rained since George and I have been here, but there is a thunder in the sky. And we're going to an outdoor, the most bizarre, bizarre ever. This should be interesting with all the thunder and the rain and maybe even lightning. Ready to go, George? I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's do this. <laughs> and Camelia just said, this guy has his hazard lights on because they've never seen anything like this before. Exactly. Abuna, first time you've heard thunder? Yeah. First time Abuna has heard thunder. He's a, he lives in Egypt. That's a case of emergency. This, so this is wild. They're gonna call the, the, the guard? Yeah, the, <laughs> baby, we brought, we brought thunder and the lightning monster. to Egypt. We brought our first hurricane to Egypt. No, I believe Egypt is crying because you're leaving. Oh, is that what it is? Yes, Egypt, Egypt is, crying. is crying because you're leaving. We'll so be with back. Tears of joy. <laughs> of the security guards. So many of the vehicles all have their hazard lights on. This one, this one did have its lights on. If you look here, 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 they all they they just don't know what to think. We might as well put ours on too. So. So you just asked your aunt a question. What did you ask your aunt? I said, 
do Egyptians have umbrellas? Or what's the word for umbrella? But Shamsiya. Shamsiya, it protects you from the sun, not from the rain. So it's it's <laughs> something to protect you from the sun. They're not yeah, used to rain. something to protect you for the rain. <laughs> so interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Very foreign. Wait, you're foreign. <laughs> foreign for me. What do you love? Choros. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love turtles. I love turtles. <laughs> Where you at? We're at one of the famous bazaars here in Cairo. Kelta, what's the name of the bazaar? I was just gonna say, Can you say that? How bazaar, how bazaar. No, I can't say that. But you know what's really bizarre? What? How much brass this dude has at his place. This would do really good in an auction. You think so? Yeah. You think they'd like that? Yeah. Well, you buy it all and ship it back, <laughs> and we'll see if we can sell it. Right up here, taxidermy. You see what that is? Is that cool or what? That's so cool. Look at their eyes. I'm looking. I'm looking right up here. This is Main Street at the Bazaar. This Have you ever seen anything so bizarre? Not this bizarre. Not this bizarre? Only in Egypt. Only in Egypt. All the taxidermy. All of those tides. Hey, my friend, just look at I have to look to fight. What just happened? He just gave me a balloon and he's blowing me kisses. Look. Blowing kisses? <laughs> Mwah! Mwah! For you. Well, George is making friends left and right. So, so he's persistent, definitely persistent, making sure that you get a that you get a balloon, huh? In my pocket and place is huge. It reminds me of it reminds me of the Egyptian Chinatown. Yeah. And yeah, this there's is something just one street everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely hello <laughs> everywhere. And it just keeps going and going and going. We here for days. And there's not many people here because of the rain today since yeah. they're not used to the rain. So we actually we we lucked out that we we're not too out. packed at the bazaar. Mm -hmm. How bizarre is that? How many times do you think I can make that that I'm joke like pun? To see if you're gonna fall. Yeah, because I'm walking backwards. These are all knockoff watches. People are covered stuff because of the rain. It's just absolutely. There's a lot to take it's in. Bizarre. Yeah, it's definitely bizarre. Like smile for the camera. Okay, I will. We're at a papyrus dealer and vendor right now. There's George. They got another picture Wait, of you. Have my aunt explain the difference between this papyrus versus anywhere else. Oh, what's the difference in the papyrus? Well, this is a better quality. Because yeah. There's a lot of fake papyrus. Yeah. But papyrus mean the Egyptian used to write on it. This is kind of tree, and they dry it and then turn it to paper. And then so it right. glows in the dark. But this one, the Nile River. Yeah. When you turn the light up, it turns to Nefertiti or Kudubatra. Another uh, face. I get cool. to see I get to see Nefertiti all the time. Yep. <laughs> that one right there. Does it glow in the dark though? No, you don't glow in the dark <laughs> yet. That one's really cool. That one's really cool too. This is one of the glowing papyruses. You want to hold it, Marcia? Okay. Yeah. Lights are going off, and here we go. Action! Oh, it's a cat. It is. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. George is looking at. Oh yeah. There's so much papyrus in here to choose from. George is looking for souvenirs for friends and family, and we have to get something for the nurse that that took our um, COVID test like three days in a row. I think she would enjoy a keychain, and yeah. that way she can take it everywhere. That's with a good her. idea. The Queen Cleopatra. I think she looked like me. Oh, yeah. look she at that! Like you. Why is everybody it's in your like family look like person. an Egyptian queen? <laughs> everybody in your side family. Side, All kinds. Oh, look at that! Wow. Is that Tut? Which in English is King Tut. King Tut. Tut. So, there's so many options. We're, we're souvenir shopping right now. We just got our COVID test taken. Without a negative test, we cannot enter back to the United States. This is the other Queen Nefertiti. Nefertiti. There's only one Queen Nefertiti for me.
Oh, look at that. So many different options. I mean, there's just options everywhere. And George keeps seeing all kinds of options. She looked at that one. She goes, that sums up our trip. She looked at this one. She said, that sums up our trip. So many options. So little time. We have less than 24 hours here in Egypt. Oh, look at... There's a, a, there's a wedding. There's a wedding. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. That's the good luck. Yeah, All on actual Egyptian papyrus. So many things to choose from right now. George is choosing a big old pile of papyrus here. Look at all this. She's getting some crazy papyrus. <laughs> We've never read a book in our lives because we don't know how to read, and now she's getting all kinds of reading material. Fifteen total. We're getting fifteen total, huh? I hope I have enough. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. So this is so Abuna. Yeah, maybe Abuna is going to start the negotiations now. No doubt. He's really good. Yeah. So if they're thinking, oh, American, American, money, 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 well, Buna comes in and gets the best price. Which, what does Abuna mean? It means father. Her father. George is counting her Egyptian money and Abuna and the shop owner. They're, they're in a very, very hot negotiation. Hmm, let's see. It's a very hot negotiation. Right? Negotiation is over. Where are we at? Um, at the end of this deal, yeah. I'm gonna pay with the visa. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much what it came down to. But yeah. it ended up being less than thirty dollars for fifteen pieces. So less than two dollars a piece. And they all go in the dark and turn into a different figure. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Your first bazaar buying experience. It's 3.20 p.m. Yeah. here in the Egypt. Yeah. And uh, people are talking to me in Spanish. Yeah. Spanish. And people how was your experience? In English. And Arabic. And Arabic. And, um... I mean, it's definitely bizarre. That's yeah, for sure. it's You're, definitely you got to constantly bizarre. haggle and negotiate. Mm-hmm. So it's the life of a reseller. It's really reselling in Egypt, isn't it? It is. What are we looking for next? Next, we're going to find keychains. Keychains. I think we just found them. Check that out. My favorite alligator, crocodiles, and turtle. With, oh, look at that. Look at them all. Look at all the crocodiles. Wow. All the limbs. What are you finding? As part of our trip, our, yeah. a memorable moment. I love Egypt. I so love I want to get camels that say, I love Egypt. I wish it said, I love Egypt and American girls. <laughs> There's one that screams, I love Egypt. I love Egypt. <laughs> we'll definitely never forget that, right? In the never, Citadel. Ever, ever. Yeah. She's going to do a little bit of everything there. Oh, there's a portrait of a camel, a portrait of George. Just a little bit of everything. Negotiation just happened. What happened? So you wanted to charge 25 Egyptian pounds per keychain. Okay. And I want to negotiate down to 50. And then he said, put it in a bag for me. He said, okay. All right. Nice. <laughs> you got your keychains. There is a huge bus coming right down. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. There's people everywhere. Vendors everywhere. There is a giant bus. There's George. There's George. George, don't get hit by the giant bus. There is a giant bus coming down. This is crazy. I thought it was a U-Haul. No, no, that's a bus. A U-Haul. That is a bus. Do you think they'll make the turn here? No way. This is. He's definitely. Oh my goodness. He's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. Oh my goodness. He's gonna turn. He's turning. Holy cow! Holy cow! This is happening! Wow! He's gotta move everything. Yeah, and if you don't move your stuff, you, you die. Don't care. 
Okay, it's within inches. I cannot believe what I just saw. Can you see? Whoa. That just happened. How did that happen? He's a professional. Definitely. One of the vendors just called you what? Uh, someone that you used to have a crush on. Who? You know, which you no longer ever since you met me. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Angel oh, wait, wait. Your aunt's finding you something. Look at that. I want to see that. It goes around the waist. Right there. And then you shake Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to edit that out of here. Angelina Jolie. Is that the face covering? No, not this one. Is that I the, had something else in mind. This is the face covering of an Egyptian woman. I had something else in mind. I like hmm. material? Yeah. And with yeah. Look at your face. <laughs> Your first uh, Egyptian bazaar experience? How Are you bizarre. speechless? How bizarre. <laughs> now tell us your real opinion. It's like flea market back at home. So yeah. it's like Webster's, it's like Jamie's, it's like, it's just like a flea market. Just it's in a, a different huge country. Flea market in a different country. This is our, this is our world reselling and that's what they're doing. They're reselling. Minus the huge charter bus. Yeah, minus the bus going right down. Yeah. Oh, here comes a van. I thought I've seen it all. It a tour bus going through here. the bazaar. What? What's next? What have we seen now? Okay. Yes. I see. The yeah. There's and a. The two swans with the light bulb. There's a Jeremy and a George, and both having a good idea. And what's that? It's a fan. That's a fan. Yeah. That tree. must be a, a YouTube fan <laughs> following. <laughs> There's a YouTube fan following Jeremy and George when they have a good idea. And there goes a stray cat. There goes another stray cat. Oh, one more. This right. Long time ago, yeah. we use it for water, as a cold water. So you fill it with water, you leave it by the window, you put some mint leaf on the top. Yeah. So when it's hot and you drink from it, because it's made out of clay, so it keeps the water really cold. What do you think they're using it for now? For souvenir, like the design. Like Souvenirs, <laughs> design. Decoration. Tree decoration. Next to the swan. Decoration. The Christmas tree decoration. It's yep. an ornament. Yep. There you go, your first Egyptian ornament. Next stop is uh, um, the Cairo Tower. The Tower. And apparently there's a restaurant up there. Two towers or just <laughs> one in Cairo? Just one that I see. Let's see if we find Solomon. All this walking has me so exhausted. I was I was thinking about sitting up here. What do you think? You can try, but one, you won't be happy. Two. I mean, you can certainly ready, try, but you will not be happy. One pair of pants later. The tower was built to prove to the world Egypt's power and dominance. It was built as a symbol of the lotus flower, which back in the day... I in, see it now, the lotus flower. The lotus flower, flower that was uh, a pretty pretty uh, symbolic thing to, very, for very heroic nice. times. Yeah. Is that what you say? Heroic? 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 The pharaoh times. Pharaonic times. Oh, pharaonic. All right. <laughs> Sounds like heroic. Like heroic. Hey, George. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> I am too. You too? I can't help you. This is the tallest building in the entire North African continent. That's right. Okay. And uh, you can actually see the pyramids, the Nile. This it's is supposed just... to be tall. This tower, this specific tower here in Cairo, is actually taller than the Great Pyramid. Of I have Asia. a feeling nobody's going to be able to hear anything because it's nothing but it's wind. So windy. Your aunt's calling you. you better follow.
Do you see them? No. The pyramids. They're they're right there. Oh, they I are see them now. right there. Nice. They're all all, uh, all the, the way over there. You see them? Isn't that wild? That's awesome. Look how wow. the Nile split. Oh yeah, the Nile is split. There's an island. Let's call it I Erland. <laughs> George, what big eyes you have. She's, she's looking at something out there. I'm not sure what. It's the other castle. Like it's all You're looking right at the, the citadel, so another castle. Yeah. You're always trying to buy another castle, aren't you? Yeah. Checking out that second castle you want. Do you see what I see? Apparently so. Hopefully I don't get pink eye. Just see what you saw. <laughs> yeah. I get pink eye, I know where it came from. We're in trouble. I'm going for it. I'm going for the pyramids. Okay. The pyramids are right over there. I'm horrible at this. I know it's not easy because it's Found zoomed them. in so so much. Is that? You only get a minute and like ten seconds. Is that what I think it is? Is that Tony George over there climbing inside the pyramids? <laughs> Do you see Tony George and Danny George? There's x-ray vision in this thing. I just found brand new passages in there. <laughs> what happens, Jeremy? It gets windy when you eat falafel and full. Falafel? Falafel. And full. It's like this after coming from the tower. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you had to get a drink. Um, is that a hot drink or a cold drink? Definitely needed to warm up and get a hot chocolate because okay. it got really cold real quick up there. Yeah, how's the Egyptian hot chocolate? It tastes the same. It tastes like an American hot chocolate. Uh, okay. And Camelia, how's the Egyptian hot tea? In Arabic or in Egyptian, it's shay. I think it's the same. Shay. 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 We add mint to it. There's mint so everywhere. Flavor. Do you remember how to say mint in Arabic? Yes. Yeah. You go mint day. <laughs> Was I right? Was I right? Na -na. Oh. Na -na. Na -na. <laughs> We're back at the wedding shop. Abuna and I are waiting in the car. And George and Aunt Camelia are going to see how all the alters, alterations went. Picking up the wedding dress. And I'm not allowed to see it. Not allowed to see the dress. Did did you get to see the dress? No. No. <laughs> I didn't get to see the dress either. Wait, that's that's the dress. I went with black. That's all I get to see. <laughs> it's it's a wedding, not a funeral. Well, I went with the black cover. You didn't oh, let me finish. Okay. All right. So I still don't get to see it. Mm -mm. We just got to figure out how to get this on the plane. Without I just, it getting damaged. I just waited in the car with Abuna. We waited for two hours later. Really? Has it been that long? And still, I can't see the dress. Oh. Well, they had to make oh. a customized veil. Yeah. So they made me a customized veil. Wait, they actually did? Yeah. They're for quick here. Holy cow. They did alterations in less than a day. And, they, and then they, they customized were able to, a veil? They customized a veil within however long you guys were waiting. Two hours later. <laughs> No, no. Video. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Okay. Now what? <laughs> More video? <laughs> what am I missing? All I, I was told to take a video. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Do I keep videoing? Yeah. Keep going? Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's, there's negotiations going on. So Abuna told me to actually start videoing. Everything is a negotiation. George is looking up the conversion rates, American money to Egyptian pounds, Abuna, Abuna says film. What are we at? Where do you think we're at? 
Sure. We're negotiating no still. Yeah. Okay, we're negotiating. So Buna told me to turn the film on. He told me to video, which I think he said that this video would go viral in America. <laughs> Is that what he said? I think so. <laughs> Probably. Did Did he tell him that you're famous? Did he, Did he tell you? Did he tell him that? Mine. That you're famous. You're Queen Nefertiti. That you're Queen Nefertiti. I think so. Okay. Okay. I heard America. That's all I heard. <laughs> Is, did he say viral? No. <laughs> coming from Biden. Biden. Oh. <laughs> he, he's mad because we came from Biden. He's, <laughs> the price just went up now. The negotiation goes on. This is with everything in Egypt. Everything is a negotiation. And Abuna, knowing the system and knowing Egypt, he makes things happen. But this was this was the one shop that that let us film, no problem, gave us no problem whatsoever. Very accommodating. Very accommodating. Yeah. Let's see what happens. What do you think's happening? Where is he from? Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's still, he's still. No, you're good. <laughs> you all good? Can I stop now? Yes. Okay. We're done negotiating. Mm -hmm. Aunt Camelia, we're done negotiating. It's, it's all done? Yes. All they just want to know where we're from now, right? Yep. Canada. <laughs> From Canada. Canada. From Canada. <laughs> I told him I'm from Canada. <laughs> the only place in Egypt where you can get a burger and they knew I was coming, they give you a glove to eat with your ketchup. You're not going to put both of them on? I nope. think you need both. I eat this burger one handed. Abuna, you want the other glove? <laughs> Getting here wasn't crazy enough. Our flight is already boarded. They're telling us run, 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 run. And George can't run. She's all the way back there. So, with all the complications of coming to Egypt, we're having just as many getting out of Egypt. And I'm out of breath. They held the flight for us. They held the flight for us to go to Munich. Then we go to Jersey. And then we go to Ohio. They're actually holding the flight and very mad. We made it. Five minutes later Literally. past the departure time. Literally by the skin of our teeth. Oh my God, I'm sweating. In our and first line. I said it'd be by the skin of our teeth. And for a moment, I didn't think we were going to make it at all. Ooh, I was praying hard. They finally let us cut. We had to cut two lines. Mm -hmm. And then they told us, run, run, run. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We can say we've now <laughs> visited Germany. We've touched down in Germany and it's time to learn a new language. Uh, we left a little Thank something. Shan, we left a little something for Germany too, didn't we? What? We left a little something for Germany? Yeah, from yeah. Jeremy. From Jeremy and George. Connecting flights. Ours is up there somewhere. We're gonna go down gate L. Gate L, L26. Gate L. Yeah. Find any good local cuisine a in Germany? A lot of people told us that, that yeah. we would love Germany. Uh -huh. I couldn't understand why, but um, it makes perfect sense now. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We didn't think it would happen. We're in the United States of... I love America. Another flight to Cleveland. We're literally making by the skin of our teeth. Oh, finally home, sweet home. Oh. You thought you'd never say you'd be glad to be back in Worcester, Ohio. During the winter and the snow and the cold even, finally home.